Why do you think they're going after Iran now? Do you think it's because Iran's becoming more of a regional power, or do you think they really do believe that Iran is going to nuke them? Like they know, uh, Iran is a perfectly rational, quite conservative um, government, and they know it's about power. And if you read the periodicals and the statements made, they're perfectly aware. That Iran is not going to nuke them because that would just mean the annihilation of Iran. Um, uh, no, it's because Iran is becoming a major regional player. And uh, as I said, pretty similar to Egypt in the 60s and uh, up in the 50s and 60s. And uh, it threatens both U.S. and Israeli uh, you know, domination of the region. And in regards to regional powers, do you think that Israel wants to remain the um, dominant power in the Middle East, and you know that's one of the reasons why you know they, they would go after Iran? Israel, it's always seen itself both as you, the, the expression that used to be used uh, is a kind of sub-imperialism. Uh, it's the dominant regional power. It wants to be, and it is now the dominant regional power. However, obviously, it can to do it on its own. Uh, on its own, it can it can barely breathe, actually, and so it's dependent on always finding a foreign power. For a long time, it was the British. In the early 50s, it was the French, and then after 67, it became the Americans. So they're kind of like a. Um, they're kind of used as a. Um, way that the that the western powers get in the middle east basically that they go through israel or they get israel to do um what needs what they think needs to be done in the middle east i'm a little a little wary about using the expression used okay. because it is israeli interests as they conceive them i don't think it's the real interests of the people but it's not as if a gun is being put to their head and say either you do you know either you attack Lebanon or we're going to withdraw all of our financial support that's not really true I mean we should be honest about these things um, to use Daniel Goldhagen's expression they're willing executioners you know they uh, they there is a confluence of interests it's not a conflict of interests which Israel reluctantly pursues because of fear of U.S. retaliation. No, Israel actively pursues the same agenda, which is an agenda, in my opinion, that's not beneficial to the Israeli people. And, but for that matter, I don't think the American agenda is beneficial to the American people. Do you think that... Um Israel going to war so often, do you think that's beneficial for them or do you think it will eventually lead to their downfall because they just seem to be such a war hungry? I think they've gone crazy. I think Israel's gone off the, you know, it's gone off the, um, um, it's gone off the cliff and uh, I think it's playing with fire now. It's, uh, it keeps on this course sooner rather than later. I think sooner it's going to uh, it's going to face a day of reckoning. Unfortunately, a lot of people are going to face that reckoning with them because they're crazy, mm -hmm. and they'll you know the Samson option. They'll bring everything down, mm -hmm. but uh, on this path, it's totally lunatic what they're doing. Uh, they are uh, if they're serious. Uh, these kinds of attacks, the dangers are increasing. Um, the, uh, the Arabs are both acquiring more sophisticated weapons on the one's hand, and they're proving more competent in their use of those weapons on the other. Uh, and so the, da the, the dangers to Israel, I think, are they are increasing. Uh, plus, that they're not a very and they're no longer that impressive fighting force that they once were. Mm -hmm. Israel is basically a Western society. They have young people there, they like the vacation, they like their high definition televisions, 
and they like to go to discos at night. And this is not the Hezbollah. You know, the Hezbollah are very dedicated, very disciplined, uh, and very ideological. Uh, they don't look for, at this point, they're not looking for earthly pleasures and earthly rewards. They're like the old, the old Zionists, who were fanatically committed to an ideal. And uh, the Israeli fighting force uh, it's not very, it's not what it once was. And that's incidentally why they chose to demonstrate their power, or what they call their deterrence capacity, why they chose to do it in Gaza. Because they knew that they can't take on Hezbollah, so they can't prove their deterrence capacity, their power against Hezbollah. They had a big enough disaster in 2006. There wasn't really an option in Iran. So they chose this absolutely defenseless little place and inflicted death and destruction in order to show, see how powerful we are. But it wasn't a very impressive show militarily because Hamas, all it has was a few firecrackers and Roman candles. <laughs>